Psalm 34 of David. When he pretended to be insane before Abimelech, who drove him away, and he left. Psalm 34 1. I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. My soul will boast in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. He saved him out of all his troubles. Psalm 34 verse 7. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. And verse 9, fear the Lord, you his saints, <clears throat> for those who fear him lack nothing. The young lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Whoever of you loves life and desires to see many days, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. His ears are attentive to their cry. Verse 16. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the memory of them from the earth. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close mm, to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. A righteous man may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. He protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. Evil will slay the wicked. The foes of the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems his servants. No one will be condemned who takes refuge in him. Taste and see that the Lord is is good. David thankfully records God's goodness and invites the praise of others. It was a tough time for David when he pretended before Abimelech to be insane, who drove him away and he left. The beautiful thing that we ought to know is that as God's people, we share his special favor. And we should concur in his praises and magnify his name together. Come, he says what? Glorify the Lord with me. Let us extol the name of the Lord together. Precious beloved of God, upon every fresh occurrence of God's mercies, let us renew our praises, thus encouraging others to trust him. The true and only way to happiness is to walk in the love and favor of God. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Taste and see. Hallelujah. I've tasted of the Lord. And I don't know that Jesus, you are good. The singer sang, and we have tested too, and we can say, although it is strange that we meet with anything of Christ here, in Psalm 34 verse 20, he protects all his bones, none of them will be broken. 
this scripture is said to have fulfilled in Christ. Was, was, it was fulfilled in Christ. The Passover lamb of which not a bone was broken prefigured Jesus. And at the same time, the complete keeping of, of his body, the church. Now we come together, we have tasted of the Lord and we see that he is good. Christ is a shadow of the things that were to come. The reality, however, is found in Jesus Christ. The Old Testament is a shadow of the things that were to come. The reality, however, is found in Christ. Beloved, as we conclude this broadcast, I want to encourage somebody here. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed are those who take refuge in him. Revelation chapter 4 verse 11 says, You are worthy to receive all. What does he say? You are worthy, O Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they were created and have their being. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed are all those who take refuge in him. Beloved, in the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 9, it says, if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord, believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Beloved, I encourage you, do not tire to ask, do not tire to lead men and women to Jesus. Because even among them that are coming to church, there are those who have fallen away from grace and need to return. So in every Christian meeting, then there should always be an invitation to the table. Taste and see that the Lord is good. That we should not just assume because all of us are delegates in a conference that all of us are born again Christians. It's important that we are always inviting others to the table of the Lord. I am Malcolm David as I proclaim this. And I want to just leave you with this prayer. If you are there, you are born again lead another person just this way if you are there you're not born again pray this after me say lord jesus i confess with my mouth that you are lord i believe in my heart god raised him from the dead write my name in the lamb's book of life i am born again the old is gone the new has come fill me with your holy spirit and with your fire, in Jesus' name, Amen. Beloved, if you have made that prayer, it's a great invitation for you to come to the table to taste and see that the Lord is good. Father, we thank you for this message and we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful and tremendous invitation into your grace and prayer and your presence. We ask that even as we continue in the journey of 150 days of Psalms, that you will continue to teach us more things and deep things of you, and that you will glorify your name. We surrender our hearts and lives to you. We also pray thanking you for our partners across the world. Thank you, Lord, even for them that you have touched to stand with this work and to establish it as by your honoring. That as they stand with your work, it is you they are honoring. So we thank you, Lord, and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shalom. See you in day 35. I am Malcolm David. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Shalom.